Okay, this will be take two for the Rule 4000 bilge pump test. What we did before was tested the pump with a, let's call it a high voltage condition. The batteries were fully charged. In fact, there was still solar putting some energy in during the test. And what we had was 13.5 uh, volts at the panel throughout the duration of that pumping test. Uh, the results, actually I, I should make a correction straight off the bat, uh, from that first video I did the math wrong. Rather than uh, putting in 5 gallons into the equation, for some reason my finger pushed the 4 on the calculator. And in any event, instead of 1800 gallons per hour flow rate, the reality was it was pumping 2220 gallons per hour. Now the head, or the amount that the pump has to lift the water is a huge factor here and the distance or the height that it has to pump is 4.5 feet. It does pump through the recommended 2 inch hose. The hose that I have selected is very smooth on the inside. There are no 90 degree elbows or 45 so it's a good straight run with just gentle sweeps and that's out through that ball valve and out through a welded standpipe through the side of the hull. So to simulate a condition where the batteries are being severely taxed or maybe we've been pumping for a long time and the engine hasn't been running, I've gone ahead and switched off the house bank and we're going to run this test with the start bank only, which is just a single group 21, correction, a group 27 battery. We've got pretty much all the equipment on and it's been on a while. Right now the voltage is down to, it looks like 12.2 volts. And then I'm going to flip on a vacuum cleaner that runs through an inverter, and that's going to really drag down voltage. And then when I flip on the bilge pump, it's even going to go down further. So we'll take a look and see what voltage we get. And, uh, well, we got the bucket set up on the outside. Let's see what we get. There's the bilge, or the vacuum cleaner is on. Looks like we're drawing 23 amps, and now for the bilge pump. Looks like 11.6 amps, or sorry, 11.6 volts at the panel. That's what it looks like as she's running. Okay, so by my count, it was 10 seconds to get to the five gallon mark of that bucket. And if you recall from the previous test, it was eight seconds to get to that five gallon mark. Now I've gone down, gone back and reanalyzed that previous high voltage or eight second test. And with a, with a better stopwatch, I got 8.3 seconds. However, a fair amount of water was splashing out during that higher velocity test, whereas this Test for today at 11.6 volts, hardly anything splashed out. So let's say that the the high volt test was a straight up 8 seconds and the low volt test was 10 seconds. 